Uh, cooking video. This one's going to be a little bit different because in this one I'm going to show you something I filmed three years ago. Basically what happened was I was filming a lot of stuff at the same time. There was an error. I, I was going to come back to it but then I moved on to another project and then before I could get back to it I reorganized the way I store everything on my hard drives because uh, video making requires a lot of data so I, I was always upgrading to new hard drives right now I'm using like five terabytes of data just to store the video I've filmed over the last couple years anyway uh, long story short I found this video I filmed like three years ago in my old kitchen just recently and I was like I need to finish this so I got to it I finished it now you can watch it uh, you just need to look at the video from last week to be able to make the tomato water. Basically, it's just uh, put tomatoes in a blender, add salt and uh, strain it. But uh, yeah, I just put that in the other video. If you haven't seen that, check it out in the link in the description below or in the top right corner of the screen right now. With that said, let's get straight into it. Let's get cooking. Let's do this. All right, so you want to start off by measuring out some gelatin. You're going to need 10 grams of that for this. That's about three and a bit sheets. And you're just going to want to hydrate this in tomato water. Now I showed how to make this in another video. To check that out, look in the description for the link or in the top right corner of your screen right now. And basically you're just going to take your gelatin, throw it in there and let it bloom inside the tomato water. Essentially a clear tomato extract. Now just leave it there for like 10 minutes. Then you're going to place it into a pan and you're going to slowly warm it up to fully dissolve the gelatin into the tomato water. And for that, just stir until you see no more gelatin and then it's done. It shouldn't have to reach boiling temperature. You should uh, melt the gelatin way before that. Okay, so once that's done, just place it back into the same beaker. And then you're just going to pour it into your siphon. Now I like to use this uh, ISI siphon, they're really awesome, they have good throttle control and the grip's made of rubber so it's easy to add cartridges and uh, screw them on and stuff. Okay, so just pour it in and then you're going to want to close it and you're going to want to place it into the fridge for at least two hours to set and you can leave it in there for one, one and a half days easily. Okay, once you want to use it, just undo the cartridge section here and put two nitrous oxide cartridges, so put one in, screw it on. Like I said, the rubber grip makes this really, really easy. I'll put a link in the description to this uh, siphon system, they're really awesome. And pop the second cartridge in, there we go, and now we're ready to go. Before you do it, shake it vigorously because it's set inside into a light gel. And then to test it out, you can just spray it like this and you get a light tomato mousse that tastes like tomato and it's really awesome. Now for presentation, you just take a cherry tomato, slice it in half, then slice it into quarters and put this to one side until you need it. I'm just gonna take a beautiful glass like this to present it and spray it in slowly at the bottom. And here you've got a delicious tomato tasting mousse that's purely white. Now, place your little cherry tomatoes on top like this for presentation. And there we go. Enjoy your super light but airy and tasty tomato mousse. Just a different, interesting way to present a mousse that tastes like tomato. So there we go. Now you know how to make a delicious white tomato mousse. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, considering this video took three years to make, sort of, uh, take a moment and hit that like button. It will really help me out or share it with a friend or subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Um, lastly, if you want to make something related to mousse, I guess, or, you know, tomato mousse, make this chocolate mousse recipe right here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.